Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the rank function and what to do in the event of ties. So the rank function is actually a fairly easy function to use. We have our groups here. Let's say we have this table here. We have, let's say we have these people's names, their seniority, and the quantity they sold on something. And we want to rank them. So using the rank function, all you need to do is type rank. There's actually three rank functions. Uh, I'm going to show you two, the rank.avg and the rank.eq function. And what the rank.eq function does first, I'll show this one, is when it ranks items here, and if there's a tie, which you'll see with Mike and Oscar, it's going to give them the same rank number. So let's take a look and see how that works. So we have our, our number, which is our rank, and then comma, and then our reference. So C2 is our number. For my reference, it's going to be C2 to C8 going to press the F4 key to put the dollar signs in front of the letters and numbers, make them absolute cell reference range. Therefore, when I copy it down, these won't change. You notice that C2 will change when it gets copied down. It becomes C C3, C4, C5. Press enter and double click the fill handle to bring it down. So as I mentioned before, if I click onto the next cell here, you see that's changed from C2 to C3, but this range stays the same because of the dollar signs. We'll also notice that Mike and Oscar, they're both tied for first place, and that's what rank EQ does. Let's see what rank average does. Equals rank, rank average, select C2, comma, and then the range. Press the F4 key again, close parentheses, press enter, and now we have five, which is for Jill, but now you notice for Mike and Oscar, as I copy, double click to copy down, they get an average 1.5, 1.5. That's what the rank average does. So let's say that we want to have a tiebreaker. We don't want to have 1.5, 1.5, we have one. So if Mike goes first, he should be the first one and Oscar would be the second one. So what we do is put two functions together, put rank and we're going to use rank EQ because we don't want the average. We want rank EQ, that number, and the reference, press F4 again. And what I need to do now is add a different function. So I'm going to add a count if function. Count if, press tab to open it. So for my range, I'm going to have from C2 colon and it C2. But the, for the first C2, that's going to be a absolute cell reference. So I'm going to press the F4 key. We have our dollar signs in front of the C and the 2. But for this one, we're, not, we're going to leave it alone. And C2, when it gets copied down, becomes C3, C4, C5. It basically becomes a count of that range. And comma, the criteria is going to be C2. Close parentheses, minus 1, press Enter. And you notice, of course, Jill stays the same. But if I when I double click to, to send that formula down, you'll notice, now notice that Mike comes first and Oscar comes second. So that's what it does. Basically, it, uh, in, it makes a count of how many times a particular value shows up and it will subtract it. And that's where you get the tiebreaker here now. So for my second example, it's going to be the basically the same as that. I'm going to do equals uh, rank and then the EQ, this number, the reference, press F4, and the order. So if I put a comma here, you'll notice now it tells you what the order is. So by default, it's going to rank it in descending order. Basically, the higher number comes first, right? So you can, you can, you can leave it alone, or you can type 0. I'll just type 0 for to illustrate this. And I'm going to do the same thing I had here and do that count plus count if, count if, press tab. My range is going to be that, colon, that. And of course, put dollar signs in front of the first part, F4. The criteria is B13 and then minus one. Press enter. Whoops, this is in time format. Let's make that a general format. So that becomes three. Double click the fill handle to bring it down. Now you notice that that time and that time are the same. So, but Mike comes first, Oscar comes second. So that's first and second. But what if we wanted to have it in descending? I'm just gonna copy this formula. Control C to copy, press escape, go in here and control V to paste. If we wanted to have descending, let's say this is based on 
the fastest person, we can make that ascending. Press 1, press Enter. Whoops, that is also in time format. Let's change that to general format. And double click it to fill it down. So now you notice that now Mike is second to last and Oscar is the last, right? So we want to have the fastest people come first. So the fastest person is Ling here at 1435. So that's the way that we can use the rank function. And if we wanted to break ties, uh, there's the way that we can do it either with ascending or descending. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Music